Hey guys, Michael from Modulus here. Just a quick video to show you the 8-pin valve sockets that we keep here. Uh, and you can ask us to supply. So what we've got here is the Belton sockets, which is my preferred socket that I use on most of the amp builds I do. Um, we've got an Omron socket, and then we've got ceramic sockets. Now, the difference between these three here is this one has a fixed mounting bracket on it, so it doesn't come off. These two are actually the same. The mounting bracket comes off and you can actually put it in either orientation. And by either orientation, I mean look at where the lo locating pin is with, the, with regard to where the mounting holes would be for the bracket. And that could be useful if you're trying to make a layout work or your chassis holes aren't exactly where you, that you think they should be. You can rotate the socket 90 degrees just to get the pins where you want them. Okay. Uh, the Omron valve socket has become quite popular as well. The main reason being that the pins are already splayed open, which makes getting in there to solder probably a little bit easier than the Belton ones. Um, I quite like the Belton ones just because they're tidy. One of the things to know about them is the actual hole size in the chassis that's required is different. So over here I've got a, a Princeton Reverb style chassis and the white ceramic ones fit in and go flush. Okay, the Belton sockets, they'll fit through, but there's a gap between the mounting bracket and the, and the chassis. So you either have to go somehow machine draw that chassis wider, or what I normally do is if I'm going to use these sockets on this type of chassis is I'll stick um, a couple M3 washers underneath there just so that when I'm clamping it down it doesn't put any undue stress on that mounting bracket. The Omron ones are exactly the same as the Belton ones, so it doesn't sit flush on the chassis, yeah. Okay, we also have some PCB bin, uh, pin ones, so the Belton ones come with longer pins. Um, I've actually seen guys use these for um, wiring and they just use the pins as a little turret for connecting wires to rather than trying to solder through through sockets and actually it's looked to do looked and worked quite well so each to their own and that's that so this one they can both be mounted to a chassis with a PCB attached or just mounted directly on a PCB and then just secure the PCB but mostly I sell those as spare parts for repairs, not really for guys who are looking to build their own amps. Okay, hopefully that's helpful. Thank you. Cheers.